June 23rd marked an historic day for nephrology when 60 RPA members converged on Capitol Hill to advocate on behalf of kidney patients and the specialty. The day began with a standing room only briefing of RPA members on our legislative priorities and tips on meeting with Hill staff. RPA's high priority legislative issues included passage of equitable and permanent Medicare physician payment reform that replaces the sustainable growth rate formula comprehensive and appropriate Medicare coverage for care provided to all kidney patients. Passage of and funding for health information technology legislation to improve the quality of patient care and reduce health care costs. RPA members from 20 states visited the offices of 40 senators and 60 representatives to impress upon them the urgency of addressing Medicare reimbursement cuts and the prevalence of chronic kidney disease in the United States. Through face-to-face -face meetings, RPA members were able to drive home the importance of comprehensive care for kidney patients, as well as the vital role screening for kidney disease can play in slowing the progression to kidney failure. The day culminated in a symposium for congressional staff on chronic kidney disease, which was held in the Russell Senate Office Building. RPA President Dr. Alan Kleiger and Drs. Alan Nissenson, William Haley, and Frank Maddox explained the population at risk for kidney disease, its economic and social burden, and strategies for improving and funding kidney care. Brian Sutter, legislative assistant to Michigan Representative David Camp, addressed the audience and emphasized the congressman's commitment to supporting ESRD program reform. To, uh, Dr. Kleiger presented RPA's 2008 Special Recognition Award to Representative John Lewis from Georgia. As a member of the House Ways and Means Committee, Congressman Lewis is an original co-sponsor of the Kidney Thank Care so Quality and Education Act. Congressman Thank Lewis works tirelessly to ensure quality health care for kidney patients and spoke about his commitment to ESRD program reform at the symposium. But, uh, as long as I'm in the House and as a member of the Ways and Means Committee, I will continue to fight for kidney care. RPA salutes our members who traveled to Capitol Hill to participate in the most successful Hill Day event to date. If you are unable to travel to Washington, D.C. to join us in person, you can still take an active role in RPA's legislative advocacy program. You are always welcome to visit your congressional representatives on Capitol Hill or in their home districts. During the August recess, invite your representatives to visit your dialysis facility. Take advantage of this opportunity to educate your representatives about your patients, their constituents. Show them what it means to care for kidney failure patients and how they can help you through the legislative process. As nephrology practitioners, you speak not only for yourself and your community, but also for the patients who depend on you for quality health care. Let's build on the momentum we created on Capitol Hill on June 23rd. Please continue to meet with your legislators at home in your own state. Please share RPA's legislative briefs, which are available on the RPA website with your legislators and their staff. Feel free to contact RPA staff who will be happy to assist you with making a difference.